why you must put you first. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, I want to talk on this conversation because I've had a couple of people recently where I've watched this actually take place, where you have a person, and normally it's usually, uh, from what I've seen, it's usually the wife in a relationship who has bought into the ideal that her job is to make sure she totally puts the family first, even at her own uh, expense in terms of her health, her well-being, um, the things that's significant to her, things that would make her happy. Um, all those things take a backseat, which also plays into that stuff where you guys hear me, why I don't have that same conversation when we talk about the man, the provider, the, uh, you know, that he's uh, the person that runs the house and all that kind of stuff. Uh, because I don't believe any person was ever put and I know for some people to step on toes from a, a spiritual pr perspective, but I don't believe any person was ever put on this earth to be a servant to someone else. There's a difference in serving and being a servant. And I don't think anybody was here to put, to serve, to be a servant to another individual. Um, and by that, I'm, and the reason I say that is because to me, Usually the person who is being served in this particular uh, situation is a person who starts to believe that they're privileged and start to believe that people owe them stuff. I remember uh, hearing um, Tyson talk about the fact because he said he had gotten so popular that he had gotten to the point where he didn't even believe that he should even walk by himself. Someone should actually carry him and I was like wow that's that's a whole nother level when you get to the point where you think your feet shouldn't even touch the ground and unfortunately it depends on the culture there are people that put people on those kind of pedestals they call them king queens whatever and and people are treated like that and I think it's very unfortunate because no human being should ever be put on those pedestals no one and I'm not trying to, I'm not going to make an exception to that comment um I understand there's a difference in giving people honor, giving people respect, and there's a difference in putting people on a pedestal as if there's a God. And I'm never going to say there's any individual that ever should hit the planet that should be treated like a God. Um, and I know some people may not like to hear that, but that's the way I feel. And so what I'm getting to in this particular conversation is when you get to the point where you become a servant and everything in your life is geared towards everyone else and you put you on the back burners. I'm in total disagreement with that. That's the whole purpose of self love Monday, because I believe you have to always put you first and then you can better serve other people. Because think about it. If you're depressed, that is the person that you're going to bring to the world. That's not the person that people want serving them. Because remember, I said the difference between serving and servant. They don't want a depressed person serving them, an angry person to ser serving them, a person who's not happy with their life serving them. Because that vibration, that energy is going to come across because they're not happy with where they are in their life. We want people to be at peace. We want people to enjoy the journey. If they are serving us, we want them to be excited about their lives. And then they will serve us in that capacity in terms of uh, the happiness and that kind of stuff because they feel that way. Because, folks, whatever, however you're feeling is the vibes that you're going to give the world. So you want people at their peak, at their best performance. And that only happens if they take care of themselves. And the reason that this conversation is, um, uh, is on my heart so much is because Again, I've watched it recently with a few people, and I watched uh, where the person who has been serving and the other people feel like they are a servant and that they're privileged. This person who's doing the serving got in a situation where they need to be served now because of health or whatever the reason may be, but they want to, they need to be served. But the person who has gotten to that point where they feel privileged and that they are being served 
usually have a very hard time with looking and caring for others because again, they feel privileged and they don't feel like they should have to do for others. They feel like, again, they're the privileged and everyone should do for them. That's why I used that, that Tyson example. But that's the old Tyson because he, he says that he looks back at that guy and he said he really didn't like that guy. And, and that's why he really doesn't, um, he said he doesn't watch his old boxing um, back in the old days. And he said because that guy, he really didn't like the, the temperament, the thought process that he had at that time. And, and so he sees the world from a different perspective. But what I'm saying is a person in that different mentality of being privileged do think that. They start to believe that the world is here to serve them and, and it should never go the other way around. And, and that's why I tell people, even from a biblical perspective, because I've had people try to throw that at me and uh, share with them that read your Bible closer and the more power that you're giving, the more authority that you're giving, the more of a servant, and I shouldn't say the servant, but the more that you you serve those who are actually following you. It's not the other way around. You're there to serve them, not them serve you. And again, the main reason that I'm, that I'm, that I'm hitting this particular topic is because I've seen it happen in and it really disturbs me. It really rubs me the wrong way because I'm watching people who are now at that point who have been doing the serving, need, needing to be served. And there's no one there to serve them. Because the people that they've served believe they're so privileged that they don't even take the time or understand what it is to serve. And therefore, this person goes neglected. And, and it really disturbs me because I watch it. And, and, um, and then that person usually, unfortunately, has to go to outside sources in order to get served because the people that they were serving don't know how to serve them. It's kind of an example where I heard someone, and this is a different, different take on it from a financial perspective. I heard someone talk about the fact that they said the person has 10 kids, the mom and dad were able to take care of those 10 kids, provide for them. And now it's at a point where the parents need the support and those 10 kids can't take care of the parents. And some of that is they can't and some of it is that they don't want to. You know, again, some people forget the fact that they were served and they don't, they don't believe they should ever have to serve. And that's really the whole point behind this uh, uh, conversation is why I tell people that's why you have to take care of you. Because unfortunately, a lot of the people that you do serve, and it's not that you serve people so they will serve you. That Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. But unfortunately, a lot of times the people that you do serve when you need to be served, they're nowhere around. Uh, it's kind of uh, using the... Uh, uh, moving. <laughs> You're a person that helps everybody move. But when it's time for you to move your place of residence, you can't find nobody. Everybody's busy. Everybody got something going on. So again, the, the whole reason for this video is to make sure that you always look out for you because no one is going to put that time and effort into you. And, and I'm not saying they should because it's like I said before, there's only one person that's going to be with you 24-7, seven days a week. Um, from the day you're born to the day you die, and that's you. I don't care how much they care for you, how much they love you. No one's going to be with you all the time but you. And that's the main reason I said you have to take care of you. Um, your health is important, your mental capacity is important, and those things can only be healthy when you put you first. Then you can turn around and serve others. And hopefully that as you do that, you're teaching others by your example to take care of themselves, and they won't become a person that feels privileged and feels like you owe them something and realize whenever you're serving them, it's by choice. But you're also teaching them how to serve 
And that way, when the time comes where you need to be served, they know how to do that and return the favor. And again, not because you're doing, you're not doing it for that reason, but it sure is beautiful when the people around you are equipped to return the favor. And as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. See the things that I have going on. Uh, and as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. And folks, whatever you do, take care of you. You have to do it. Because again, when I see people out here that do for others, and then when they need it, there's no one there, it drives me. Oh, it, it truly drops me the wrong way. Because they will do anything for you. Yet. You let them suffer. That's, uh, let me, you guys know I'll get started again. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.